So the show was inspired by the fact that so many different kind of areas or cultural practitioners, journalists, marketers, sociologists, are trying to capture um, this new generation. So it's been variously called Gen Y, the millennials. So they're trying to look at it, trying to bottle it. And we thought, well, why hasn't this happened in art? And so we sort of set out thinking, you know, the generations are the sort of default way that art history is looked at and art is talked about in terms of movements and time and periods. We present a very pluralistic, complex, contradictory picture of art that's happening today around the world. But also I think that it's overstated that youth get so much attention in art. They don't. And that's another thing that this show is going to do, is give an opportunity to 50 artists who wouldn't otherwise show in a New York museum an opportunity um, to present their work. Artists today are responding to a different internet. Um, artists who were working then, sort of pioneers, first artists to work with the internet, were really test driving it as a new medium to work with. Um, and they were also questioning it, its possibilities, its limits. But today, the web is a mass medium, you know, home to the most innovative, powerful businesses and everybody else. You know, it's an incredibly anarchic place. Um, tons of different contexts clashing against each other. And I think that's an incredibly inspirational terrain for artists to work with. For instance, the artist Guthrie Lonergan, who's making a, a piece called, who is showing a piece in this show called MySpace Intro Playlist. Basically, he's just gathering 13 intro videos um, for MySpace. Hi, I'm Crystal, and this is my MySpace, so I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to look at my pictures and email me and comment me. And Check out my playlist, which is on my MySpace, uh, if you want to listen to some music. Ah. It's amazing for artists to have access to all of this different kind of material that you can now find on a web that is um, generated by all the people who are working on it, you know. So I think it's not, he's not making fun of them. He's just looking at it you know, and sort of looking, therefore, at contemporary culture. Corey is really indicative of this new sensibility um, or of, a, of a, con a current sensibility that artists have towards working with technology. Um, and it's, you know, there's, there's different strains of artists working with technology. Some are really pushing it to its limits and testing what it can do. Um, and their work blurs with innovation. And there are others who are trying to slow down the way that um, culture is moving technology forward, and Corey is really one of those. Mark Essen makes video games that are really influenced by uh, his focus um, uh, in experimental film and video art. So um, he's making, unlike other artists who've commented on games or modified existing games, he's actually building games from ground up in um, outdated kind of software. And he's doing that, you know, not because he has anything against Grand Thre Theft Auto necessarily, but because it's available to him, because it's cheap, because he can, as an amateur, um, use that software and, and make, make a really complicated, interesting game. There is a, you know, a movement now um, centered around Creative Commons, you know, that is really interested in free culture and the ability to take images and, and mix them and appropriate them. And, Artists are working that way, you know, whether they're advocating for it or not, they're working that way because they're commenting on culture. 